Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Walker. Well, we're following developing news out of Lexington. The Lexington Fire Department is on the scene of what we're told is a working structure fire. Now, the department says it responded around 530 this afternoon to the 1300 block of Kenanero Drive. When crews arrived, they found heavy black smoke coming from the rear of a home. It's unclear if anyone was inside the home at the time or if there are any injuries. We'll update as we learn more. Well, veterans from across Kentucky got the welcome they never experienced before after returning home from a special trip to Washington, D.C. It was the ending of the annual Honor Flight Kentucky, an all-expenses paid trip to visit memorials dedicated to their service and sacrifice. Here's more in our top story at 6.30. An encore unlike any other. The emotion of these guys being in D.C. and what they have done today, it's not just a physical strain, it's an emotional strain on these guys, especially the Vietnam veterans. More than 60 veterans, ranging from the Korean War to Vietnam, returning to Lexington's Bluegrass Airport after a trip to the nation's capital. It was all part of Honor Flight Kentucky, which gives veterans the chance to tour memorials in Washington, D.C. Retired U.S. Navy Chief June Forbes has had the honor of being invited on the all-women honor flight in 2019. This is just an experience and a feeling that I can't describe, especially with me being a military person of 20 years, and I believe that anybody that hasn't done this really should. Forbes was in line to give the same honor to others. As family members in the community stood in line, giving the veteran heroes a welcome they deserve, carrying signs, patriotic decor, and flags. For the turnout, for what it means, and the veterans, you know, they, did, they didn't get the honor or recognition way, way back when, so this is time to show that, hey, we love you. We, we thank you for your service. Two more honor flights are scheduled for September and October. Hello everybody, meteorologist Jordan Smith here on this Sunday evening as we get set to track a hard freeze that is on the way to kick off our Monday. Some areas started off with some patchy frost this morning. Tomorrow it is widespread frost and freeze conditions. Areas in the purple, which includes most of our viewing area, is under that freeze warning until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Areas outside of that into eastern Kentucky are under that frost advisory, which will run until 10 a.m. Man, it's been a chilly day, especially compared to normal highs this time of year should be in the low 70s. Well, we've struggled to make it to the low to mid 50s. And if we track these numbers out, look at tomorrow morning as you're heading out the door to work or school, low 30s. Some areas may even drop it below freezing as we're heading into what should be the peak heating of the afternoon low to mid 50s with a wind chill that may feel even colder than that. Heading off into Tuesday morning, we will drop it back into the low 30s once again. So this colder pattern is going to hang on for a few more days. We'll start to come out of it a little bit by the time we get to midweek, but that'll be in the price with some storms. We'll break that down coming up in your storm team forecast. All right, thanks a lot, Jordan. Well, Kentucky State Police is investigating after a car crash claimed the life of a Bath County man. KSP says the crash happened around 730 Wednesday afternoon on Oakley Pebble Road in Bath County. Troopers say 57 year old Steve Clark was traveling west when he left the road and struck an embankment. The car stopped on its side. Clark was pronounced dead on the scene. A passenger in the vehicle was airlifted to UK hospital for treatment. That crash remains under investigation. And two people have been injured after a car accident early this morning in Lexington. The Lexington Fire Department says they responded this morning around 430 to the 2400 block of Richmond Road. The department says when they arrived, they found a man had went over an embankment. A car had went over an embankment. Two people were taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. While well, local business teaming up with Lexington Pit Crew, a bully breed rescue for an annual fundraiser. Black Swan Inc. held its second annual flash tattoo fundraiser. Proceeds and donations raised will go to Lexington Pit Crew to help with vetting, food, and other necessary supplies. Now those who donate are placed in a raffle with a winner getting a free tattoo. The event included vendors, live music, food trucks, and raffles. 
We have two dogs from them, so we have kind of a personal connection to them. Um, and we just want to want to help. You know, rescue is, is a big issue in, in the community, and there's always dogs to rescue. Try to focus on on kind of the underdog, the misunderstood, the, you know, those that, that kind of just get a bad rap or, or have a bad name to try to try to change that a little bit in the eye of, of people and the community in general. Now, organizers say next month they're planning a fundraiser for Cincinnati Children's Hospital.